Good evening, YouTube, BookTube. This is Johnny. Thought I'd make a video since it's going on 10 o'clock here in West Michigan. It is a Monday. It is May the 25th. It is 9.50 at night here in West Michigan. Uh, I hear some fireworks. I'm not sure why there's fireworks. Uh, it could be some some national holy day i think it's memorial day they call it the people out there in the dead american world they call it memorial day it's where we uh remember those who have fallen in battle anyway uh i'm in my main study i was gonna make a video and uh, because it's too early to go to bed, I usually go to bed around 11, 11.30. Even when I go to bed, I just lay there probably until past midnight. But yeah, today is a Monday, so this is Monday Reads. Basically, I've been reading this for the last couple of days. The Soul's Recreation, The Contemplative Mystical Piety of Puritanism by Tom Shawana. So yeah, I had read this before. Uh, this came out in 2012. I read it a couple of years ago, but then um, I got back out. I've been showing this Puritan classic, Looking Unto Jesus. Uh, Looking Unto Jesus, A View of the Everlasting Gospel, or the Soul's Eyeing of Jesus as Carrying on the Great Work of Man's Salvation from First to Last by Isaac Ambrose, Minister of the Gospel. This is a Puritan reprint. This came out in 1986 by Sprinkle Publications. So it's kind of like I got to, you know, do the be in this plague and epidemic and being in quarantine and isolation. And so I just feel like reading books that promote contemplation promote you know a book like this I can sit down and I can read it and it provokes heavenly thoughts meditation upon spiritual things and so I thought I just read that and reread this also uh, I've been reading another Puritan reprint by Isaac Ambrose the Christian warrior Wrestling with Sin, Satan, the World, and the Flesh by Isaac Ambrose. It says here he lived from 1592 and he died in 1664. So I've been reading this. Also, I've been reading Volume 9 of the Works of William Perkins. Maybe tomorrow I'll get volume 10 of the works of William Perkins that I ordered a couple of weeks ago from Heritage Reformed Books. And yeah, I was reading on in here an exhortation to repentance. So, and then the next one is two treatises, The Nature and Practice of Repentance and then the combat of the flesh and spirit it looks pretty interesting um so yeah so then he has the combat of the flesh and spirit and then there's a direction for the government of the tongue according to God's Word, a treatise on man's imaginations, a discourse of the damned art of witchcraft, uh, a resolution to the co country man on procrastination. Uh, so this is all kind of practical works. I think this is what they are. Uh, yeah, Practical Works, Volumes 8, Volume 9, and Volume 10. 
I, I have the whole, I brought them all up here, all the works of William Perkins. See, here's volume eight. Here's volume seven. Volume six. Volume five. Volume four. Volume three. Volume two of the works of William Perkins. And then volume one. <laughs> Now, yeah, volume one is over 770 pages. So you have a couple thousand pages of uh, early English Puritan Reformed theology and spirituality. So yeah, I've been reading those since I've been getting them. See, there's volumes one through four. And then you have volumes five through eight. And then you have volume nine. And then tomorrow, maybe I will get volume ten of the works of William Perkins. See? That's a lot of stuff to read. But you gotta read something as you wait to go to as you wait to go to heaven or wherever your state will be after you pass this life and go into the eternal state. So yeah, The Christian Warrior by Isaac Ambrose, The Soul's Recreation, The, Contempti the Contemplative Mystical Piety of Puritanism by Tom Shawina, reading Looking Into Jesus, also reading S Seeing by the Light, Illumination, and Augustine's Bars, reading of John by Ike Miller. These are the kind of things I read when I'm not writing in my my diary. Today I, I ended on page 500 for the year 2020. So tomorrow, on May the 26th, I'll be on page 501 for the year 2020. I also have been reading down here The Wonderful Works of God by Herman Bavick and reading Reform Ethics, Created, Fallen, and Converted Humanity by Herman Bavick. I also have here Unity and Continuity and Covenantal Thought, A Study in Reform Tradition in Westminster Assembly by Andrew A. Woolsey. Canon and Covenant in Christology, Rethinking Jesus and the Scriptures of Israel by Matthew Barnett. And I got the Reformation Commentary on Joshua, Judges, and Ruth. And the Untold, the Story Retold, Biblical Theological Introduction to the New Testament by J.K. Beale and Benjamin Glad. So I got lots to read. A lot to occupy my mind, to write about in my diary. You know, all these people, Herman Bavick, William Perkins, Isaac Ambrose, uh, Ike Miller, Tom Shawina, the Reformers, Matthew Barnett, the Westminster Divines, they all believed in God. They believed in the God to be Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And I always find it kind of amazing, lately all these people in BookTube are kind of boasting that they're atheists and they don't believe in anything. 
And so I, I was telling my wife, it'd be kind of interesting to have these people in booktube who say, I don't believe in God, and I don't believe in, in the Bible, and I don't believe in anything, that if they would sit down and talk to Isaac Ambrose, <laughs> or sit down and talk to William Perkins, and just look William Perkins in the face and say, you know, you know, I'm an atheist. You know, I don't believe in God. You know, I don't believe in anything. All I believe in is myself. And, and you know, stand up to, uh, stand up to William per uh, to Herman Bavick, one of the great Dutch theologians, and say, you know, Herman Bavick, I don't believe in God. I'm an atheist, and I'm proud of it. You know, I don't believe anything. There's no heaven and hell. The Bible is just a book of man. And, you know, I don't believe in sin. I don't believe in the devil. You know, I don't believe anything. Stand up and say that to Herman Bavick. You know, he'd be pretty, you know, you have to be pretty, you know, pretty gutsy to do that. I mean, me personally, I've always believed in God. You know, I don't, I've never been an atheist or agnostic. The thing with me is that I knew that there was a God. And when I was around 17 and 18 years old, I said, God, who are you? One day I just bowed my head in prayer and said, who are you? And then soon after that prayer, I, I met a bunch of Jesus people in Berkeley, California. And they said, come to a Bible study. And I came to see that Jesus Christ is God. That the Bible t sets forth that God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit is the biblical God. Three gods and yet one distinct person. So, I don't know. To me, it's always kind of surprising people who are so bold to say that there is no God, <laughs> that they're proud to be atheists. I mean, I don't know. To me, it just mystifies me because uh, the Bible says those kinds of people are fools. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're blinded by the devil. You know, the reason why they don't believe in God is because they want to live in sin and rebellion. They want they don't want to bow the knee to the, to the Lord Jesus Christ. They don't want to forsake their sin. They want to keep on living in darkness. That's the reason why they don't why they profess atheism. I don't know. I don't understand that. So it just mystifies me constantly because I read all these men who love Jesus Christ, who love God, who seek to live a life of love, a life of gratitude a life of holiness, a life of seeking to to glorify God and to please Him in all that they say and do. And, uh, and yet these people are the direct opposite. So I don't know, it kind of mystifies me. So that's my Monday Reads, where I'm at on this Monday evening. It's 10.03. Yeah. So I hope you had a good weekend, that you have a good new week. We're coming to the end of May 2020. And we'll be next, this coming, next Monday will be June the 1st, 2020. So I thank you for the comments and thank you for the new subscribers. And until next time, bye.